an ambulance is coming and going, patients going back to the nursing home, new ones coming, transfers out to Fargo. It's nuts here. Because we're in a rural community, we know a lot of our patients. I personally have had three patients um, from the nursing home die. This is just unlike every, anything I've ever seen. Like. So here we are pulling into Grafton, North Dakota. This is our hospital, Unity Medical Center. You know, we hope for the best every day that starts, okay, but you. Um, you just don't know what the day is going to bring. Hey, I'm Amy Baryonic. I have been a nurse for 30 years. My name is Mary Jo Schapp. I am a registered nurse. Things have really amped up around here. We have had to make makeshift rooms for patients in the chapel, family room, pretty much wherever we can um, cram them. We've had a really hard time getting patients transferred out to our usual receiving facilities because they are also full. Patients that we wouldn't ordinarily keep here in our small rural community hospital, uh, we've had to keep. We are now swamped with ER patients coming and there's nowhere to put them and we are running out of staff. It's been quite a busy day. I have spoke to two families um, extensively about end of life. We've had deaths here. They are members of the community that you know, we know. It's heartbreaking because I am um, a lot of these people are my friends that I know personally and then to see their family members here at the end of life and they and it's not a normal grieving and dying process. We talked about it months and months ago and how we'd handle it but you're never really fully emotionally or psychologically prepared um, for the onslaught but I think a large portion of the population in our area doesn't really quite get it yet. Staffing in a rural facility has always been um, a bit of a challenge. We are a skeleton crew to begin with, and now we are slowly, one by one, catching COVID. I'm post-COVID about a week and a half, and I still am exhausted. When you are in something that you feel like there will be no end, and it is like your worst nightmare ever, um, I think we all go home and we have nightmares, and you dream, hovel dreams. Um, the call lights are going off and the people are falling and you can't get to them. None of us ever became nurses and thought that we would do anything like this. Well, that ends my shift. I am actually feeling guilty leaving the hospital a half hour late, but today is my son's birthday and I always put my family on the back burner and today, as much as I tried, I still couldn't get out of here on time. Um, One of my patients that we transferred back to the nursing home uh, end of life, I believe, has already passed away. Just ended my day. Uh, leaving the hospital. I'm back home now, 9 p.m. here, and it's been a long day. I feel exhausted. Um, I feel... <sighs> like crying a lot. Um, you know, you just feel like you want it to end. I just wanted it to end, and there is no end in sight.